Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motion Array, and today you're going to learn how to use, import, and customize effects all inside Final Cut Pro. But the question is, why would you want to use effects in the first place? Throughout this video, you'll not only learn how to apply effects, but when to use effects to really enhance your videos. Final Cut Pro offers a ton of built-in effects for you to drag and drop onto your timeline. You can access the effects browser by pressing Command-5 or by going to the effects icon in the far right. Here, you can scroll through the list of video and audio effects. You can also select a folder to view specific effects like 360, basics, blur, color, and distortion, just to name a few. Effects can be added to your footage to create a different look. You can preview various effects before applying them by scrubbing your mouse over the effect. If you already know the effect you're looking for, you can search for it by name. But once you've found the effect you like, simply drag and drop onto your timeline clip. Once you've applied the effect to your clip, you can customize the look by adjusting the parameters in the effects inspector. So now that you know the basics of effects and how to add them, let's look at some of our favorites that you can start to create. And I'd like to add that this isn't an exhaustive list, but just some great real world examples you can try out in your next video. So let's dive into our first one, the prism effect. You'll find the prism effect in the blur folder, or you can just search for it. To add this effect, simply drag and drop onto your clip, or with your clip selected, just double click. This effect adds an RGB split to your footage. In our example, we've used it to create an impact type effect as the skater starts the flip and then lands. However, it's a very commonly used effect to give an 80s theme, and it's often used in modern music videos to create some kind of delirium effect. Like many effects, you can customize by going to the video inspector in the top right. By moving the slider, you can change the amount of the prism effect you want to add to your clip. And by adjusting the angle, you can change the direction of the split. For even further customization, you can add keyframe points to animate the effect. Now here's one of my other favorites, the mirror effect. You can find the mirror effect in the distortion folder. As you can imagine, this creates a mirrored look, often using trendy music videos to create a trippy effect that creates confusion. The effect creates a reflection of your footage around the center point. So wherever you place your center point, that's also going to be your reflection point. While you can use this effect without any animation to create an automatic mirror effect, you can also customize the start point of this effect in two ways. The first is by dragging the center point, and the second is to use the X and Y axis in the effects inspector. You can also animate this effect by setting start and end keyframe points. So let's move on to our third favorite effect inside Final Cut Pro, and those are adding color presets. Inside the color preset folder, you can find a number of built-in presets to give your footage a unique look. These work by adding a pre-composed color grade to your footage, and you can test them out before applying to your footage by simply hovering over the effect. Since the stock footage we're using has a very cold feel to it, with lots of blues, you should try matching that natural look with a complementing color preset. You can turn the color preset on or off by unchecking the box for color board in the effects inspector. It's important to remember that these presets can create a very harsh look to your video, and you can adjust the look and feel by adjusting the color board in the video inspector. Our fourth favorite effect is adding streaks to your footage. This effect helps fake an effect you can only get with extremely expensive lenses called anamorphic lenses. Adding the streaks effect from the lights folder, we can make certain light groups streak across the screen. Depending on your shot, this may become very harsh, so it's essential that you adjust the effect in the effects inspector. 
This is a great effect to use with car lights at night, or lights pouring directly toward the camera. And of course, depending on the light in your shot, make sure you're adjusting the color to match that too. And moving on to our last favorite effect, it's an audio effect rather than a visual one. Effects are not just for video. Audio is the other half of the experience that can really make your video stand out. In the effects menu, you'll find a heading of audio further down the list. In here, we can find the EQ folder, and inside that, the muffled effect. While this is an audio effect, you can apply this to your audio layer. A common use for this audio effect is to add it to music or ambient sounds when the subject goes underwater. Listen to how the effect makes a big difference as the diver goes from above water to underwater. You can create this effect by selecting the audio file and going up to the audio inspector in the top right. From here, you'll want to keyframe the effect from zero up to your desired mount as the diver goes under the water. There is also an effect titled underwater. However, we found the muffled effect to create a better sounding effect. So those are some of our favorite built-in effects for Final Cut Pro. And if you're looking for even more cool effects to use in your videos, here at Motionary, we've got tons of templates, titles, and more cool effects ready for you to download and add to your projects. Getting started with effects for Motionary is easy. Just download the pack and copy it to your Motion Templates effects folder. And there you have it. You've just learned how to use, import, and customize effects all inside Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it for me. And I hope you found this video on using effects in Final Cut Pro helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.